I'm going to start with you, Shannon. Yes. What do you make of this beef? Whose side are you on? I'm a, Look, I was one of the ones I didn't like the move that KD made only because he went to Golden State. They're 73 and 9, but he was a free agent. He's free to go wherever he wants to go. But I'm on KD's side. But I need KD to have turtle shell for skin and not onion skin, which is thin, <laughs> because he hears everything. The problem that I got with C-day, CJ is that you had him on your podcast. You could have said you were soft to his face yeah. for going to join Golden State. Mm-hmm. You don't wait till the man leave and then get thumb muscles and start tweeting. See, that's that keyboard courage, Skip. I tell you, a boy, a lot of them oh. got it. Mm-hmm. You a man in front of you. you oh, man, I thought, well, how y'all muscles. get... Yeah, yeah. Now he got thumb muscles. Now you don't... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you saw. And what? the man across from me reads all those guys out no, there. No, 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 no. No, I don't... read all the responses? I don't know. I yes, don't... you do. How you, you know what I read? Heart. But that's when I pass you, I'm going to read all those, too, as I pass you. When you pass me, you have, like, <laughs> one-fifth of what I so, have. So? <laughs> you got to start somewhere. But anyway, and then he on things said, well, I think the B is harsh, but soft is a... <laughs> whoa, whoa, what you mean, but? He, so was, look- he was responding to somebody on yeah. Twitter who had said, should we go to the B the word? Yeah. All I'm yeah. saying is, is this. What? <laughs> Bro, you had the guy there. Say, Katie, you soft. There's no way you should... A guy of your caliber should have no way go join Golden State. They were 73 and 9. Bro, y'all had them down 3 1. You stay there and beat them. You don't go join them because you couldn't beat them. You had him on your podcast. Everything that they were responding to and you responding to on Twitter, you could have asked KD. Correct. But now he goes away, and now all of a sudden you got so much to say. With it. That's my problem. If you the man that you you want to be in this business, you got to stand behind what you say when the guy's sitting right there. You got to say it. <laughs> well, I, I do think CJ on the podcast he he referenced I I, I when he's talking about Boogie. Mm-hmm. He said, I hated it even worse when you went to the Warriors or something to that effect. So he brought up the move to the Warriors. Then he did ask him about Boogie. Like, right. say, man, that's, you know. And so I give CJ a little more credit than you. And I give KD credit for saying y'all would not going to win a championship. So I credit both of them for speaking their minds. Mm-hmm. Um, however, here's two things. One, if you're KD and you go to a 73-win team that won a championship before you, I, I didn't criticize him when he went. We all have given him love for leading oh, yeah. that team to championships mm-hmm. and being the finals MVP. But I, I got to be honest, I think it's hard to talk trash in that situation. I think you should win gracefully because you're not going to win the trash talk debate when you went to the 73-9 and nine right. team that won it without you and then you want to brag. You just win gracefully and be, be you know classy about it and let people be mad if they want. But I can always come back, man, they ain't even need you. They could have won it without you. That's always going to be the argument. Because they won it without you. Exactly. (laughs) Now, uh, so I I think that I will say this with CJ. I, I, again, I didn't criticize LeBron for going to Miami or KD for going to Golden State. But I did feel like both of them sold themselves short. I thought LeBron was good enough to lead that cast of mm-hmm. role players in Cleveland to championships and or, or a championship. And I felt, KD, you had the 73-win team down 3-1. I felt they were good enough to win a championship. So, look, at the end of the day, 15, 20 years from now, people may just look at they got rings. But I felt both of them did sell themselves short when they went to these teams that were stacked. So you're slightly on CJ's side? Is that your bottom line? I kind of, I get where he's coming from that, you know, I I don't like him. I mean, look, I like him speaking his mind. And if he thought it was soft, then it was soft. What, here's what I do like. I think this is all motivating the Warriors. They have so much motivation this year. You, you added Boogie. That's motivation to make him fit in. LeBron went to the Lakers, came to the West. That's motivation. Now CJ calling you out. I, look, I would love for the Warriors to say, you know what? We're tired of all this. We're going to go out and break the 73-win record. Because if they want to be, they should maybe, especially if this is their last hurrah, they should go out saying, we want to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt we are the best team in mm-hmm. NBA history. Let's go. 77 and 75. Five I, I'll and say 75. I'll say 75. 75 and 7 is real. As long as they break the 73 and win a championship, it's I don't think over. you could argue 
They'd probably be the best team ever. Let's beat the Lakers by an average of 25 <laughs> points four straight times. Why are you bringing That's up the Lakers? This is about CJ and KD. Keep, this magic keeps bringing up. The oh, the Golden State, right? He keeps calling out well, Golden that'll State. Well, that'll be, yeah, that's another right. motivation. Yeah. Right. Four times by 25 point average. CJ and KD. <sighs> I am with you times 10 because I am completely on Kevin Durant's side, whether he was speaking from a position of strength or not. CJ has made noise about criticizing Kevin's decision. He hasn't called yes. him soft, but he had already made some noise about he shouldn't have left Oklahoma City and gone to Golden State. So that's why Kevin went on combatively. Like, he, he wanted to, if it was going to resort to trash talk, whatever it was. And I thought Kevin went on and just handed it to CJ on his own podcast because he was just <laughs> relentless on him. He pulled no punches. He was just in your face. Bro, y'all not going to win. Yeah, he just said, <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing at him. You're going to win a championship. No, you're not going to win any championship. And then CJ said, well, we did, we were the three seed. He said, yeah. And then what happened? You played like an eight yeah. seed. That's yeah. what he yeah. said. Well, yeah. played like yeah. an eight seed. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's, that's on your podcast. And now CJ has to put that out there, right? You know? So then CJ gets that keyboard courage. That, that, that was soft. Yeah. That, that was as soft as you can get. Now you're going to go to your keyboard and say, oh, he was soft. We can't go quite to the B word, but he actually acknowledged, well, you could kind of go up in that range yeah. somewhere. Yeah, some, an somewhere. analogy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and then... To Kevin's credit, and again, you, I, I know he's got thin skin, but on this one, he's just saying, wait a minute, I just did your podcast, and then you go to Twitter and blast yeah, me was... and call me soft? <laughs> yeah, you're and not... then, then he goes to snake in the grass. I see, yeah. CJ you know tried to down, like afterwards, yeah. CJ tried, I'm not talking anymore. Yeah. No, he said, CJ even said, there's no beef. No, there's beef, beef. now. Beef. There, like, when you listen to the podcast, oh. obviously both of them were speaking truths right. that they really felt... But it was done in a joke. Joking matter, laughing, yeah. yeah. It was lighthearted. Yeah. But the Twitter, the tweets are what got serious. And now there's real beef. There's no way KD is not yeah. is gonna let this go. No. No should he. You ain't you ain't finna have me on your show and all the things that you could have asked me. Yeah. Because you mentioned this before. Okay, I know going on what you said about me in the past. Mm. Okay, I'm coming on the show, and if you ask me, I'm gonna answer it honestly. Yeah. Now I get there, you don't really ask me the questions, but when I leave, now you got so much to talk about. Mm. Whoa, bruh! Hmm. You just had me on the podcast. You could have asked me all these questions. If you thought I was soft, if you thought I was soft then, I'm, you should have hey, bro, you soft. Hmm. Bro, you know you yeah. Man, please. That was, a, that was a weak sauce move. You could even say it in a way that was yeah. fun, but still. Oh, serious. KD. Now maybe KD says to his teammates, let's go beat Portland four times by an average of 35 points. Exactly. Right? Oh, yeah. They're I, capable. KD is he's really interesting because since he's gone to Golden State. Oh, but KD. He's been t Out shooting front. down everybody that <laughs> says something. Like, I really think, and he's told me this personally, he really seems, people told me the move he made to Golden State was the first move of his life where he did it just because yeah. he wanted to. He right. wasn't like, worried about pleasing others. Mm -hmm. And he really does seem like he doesn't care. He, on one hand, he doesn't care what people say. He's just going to do what he wants to do. But on the other hand, this is what makes it interesting he does seem to have soft skin. He like everything. Yeah, it, it, he's <laughs> responding to every little slight. So on the one hand, you're doing what you want to do. Forget yeah. what people think about it. On the other hand... Just don't criticize me for doing it. And work, you know, concerned about people criticizing It's the water. You know, you got that... Oak, you know, uh, uh, Tupac was, you know, spent some yeah. time in Oakland. Yeah. 40 yeah. water, you know, E-40 out there, Mac Dre, the loonies. So, you know, KD got real hard. I mean, he was already <laughs> seven foot. He like going to join the 73 or 9 team, Skip. Now he like 10 foot tall. Mm -hmm. They look at it, they're like, KD, bro, at the time you made that move, at, by any metric, you were the second best player in basketball. You go join a team that had a two-time MVP, the first and one of those unanimous. They were 73 and 9. Mm -hmm. Bro, they got the you third. You had them beat. You you had them beat. And, uh, look, do I, you agree that again? It's hard to talk trash. Yeah, it is. In that situation. Yeah. yeah. Now you're right. He did a good job. That's like Julio Jones going to join the going to join the Patriots and talking trash, bro. How you gonna talk trash yeah, playing with Tom what? Brady? I'm not sure I've ever seen any player have more pressure on him going into an NBA Finals than Kevin Durant had not this past year, but two years back. Yeah, His first, first time year. around with Golden State. Yeah. The NBA world was waiting for him to fall on his face because he had left Russell Westbrook mm -hmm. and joined the, the champions. Mm -hmm. 
And what did he do? Man, I didn't think he had that in him. He 35 rose and shone. Was yeah, he was unbelievable. Wow. Do, do you know the weight of the world on him? And remember, we had his mom on the yeah. show, and she was so proud of him because yeah. she knew what he'd gone through. But Skip, the dude in all of his playoff game in the finals, he was averaging over 30 points a game. Yeah. So I was I was not sure. I was maybe kind of, you know, naive. I was not shocked that he played that well, considering that in all the finals, even against uh, the ones he lost in OKC just to the Heat, he was still over 30 points a game. So I always tell you, don't read all that negativity on Twitter. Just, just erase it. You know, don't, don't block it out. Let me see what they say about yeah. you right now. Well, it's, you, you're, <laughs> they, you're say but, they say I got you, Skip. That you're, would you're be saying. Oh. That one out of ten that says, "Oh, you owned him." Yeah, I got it. Yeah, they, oh, <laughs> they say, "Oh, you got Skip yeah. today." They say, "Oh, they, you they got it." Say, for that I'm good. I need, I need reinforcement. I'm in the Hall of Fame, and I need somebody on Twitter to tell me I'm okay. <laughs> all I'm saying, right? Mark. Okay, today is seven twenty six, two thousand eighteen. Okay. All right. By 2020, I'm going to catch you and pass you in Twitter followers. Okay, let's bet 9,000 cases <laughs> of black, uh, Diet Mountain Dew right now. I'm betting 9,000. I and bet 100. By the way, 100,000? 100 cases of Dew. 100 cases. We got it because you owe me $1 billion because you bet <laughs> yeah, me a yeah. billion dollars on Nick Foles, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm down, I'll am i be up. Ooh, I don't know what I'm... I'm going to have, like, two swimming pools full of Just Diet You're going to be moved to Malibu. So you and Ernest, you're about to move out of Malibu. My is he reads right, all the negativity. He lets it go he does. in his psyche. He lets it go in his heart and soul, and then he goes out and performs. Maybe, that, yeah. maybe that's, that's his fuel. I guess. Maybe I that's his fuel. You have to know yourself. There you are do. some players that couldn't read it. Yes. You know, I think After LeBron, while, at least early in his him. career, he, that's why he, I oh. believe he went dark, what is it, dark? I, I, the, the, the zero dark 30. Zero dark yeah, 30. I agree with that. Yeah, he did. He finally said, I don't need this. Yep. Doesn't do me any good. Jordan, you, it drove him. Yep. Hmm. Jordan, he would find anything. The dude's, uh, okay, maybe but that's just looking at an opponent. He needs one opponent to look sideways at him, and he says, oh, I'll, get, I'll get that guy. Mm -hmm. He told me Do that night, and John Calipari, who's coaching the New Jersey Nets, I said, what are you doing? He scored like 50 on him. I said, "Do you know John Calipari?" He said, "I don't know him. I just don't like the way he handles himself. You know, like he he just, he just didn't like the way he, <laughs> he find he, he find anything to motivate him to go drop 50 you know, on somebody." What do you? CJ has said that he thinks KD should go to a team and lead it to a championship. Like a team that is this, And again, going to the Lakers with LeBron wouldn't fit the bill. Well, what, well Katie you said think, I did. What did he should? just do? He said I went to Golden State. Well, I led it. Do you, so you don't think – he leads them. He's the best player, but – Don't you think – Take Steph the Wizards. You, you say take the Wizards. You say take the Wizards. What if he went back – what if he went to – he won't. But what if he went to OKC and led them to the championship? You know what? I just feel in my heart of hearts that that bridge is burned between him and Russ. I just believe it's burned.